Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be making a strategy video for you on the S&P 500. I hope that you're enjoying uh, some of the videos on the channel recently. I've switched it up a little bit, um, doing more kind of things to help traders um, with any problems that they're having with their trading. So if you are having any issues with your trading, the first link in the description, you're able to book a free call with me, basically to go over whatever you want. So if you do need a little bit of help, Book a call with me and um, yeah, let's get into the strategy. So um, this is a very, very simple strategy and um, I hope that you can go away, back test it. Hopefully it works for you. Hopefully you enjoy it and um, yeah, let me know how it goes with your trading. So essentially all we're doing is we are having a look at three different time frames. We are having a look at the daily chart, which is this one down here. I'm going to look at the four hour, which is this one here. I'm going to look at the hourly, which is this one here. So we've got three different time frames: the daily, the four hour, and the hourly. Um, we are using uh, one, two. We are using two indicators um, on three different charts. So we are using Super Trend uh, on two of them, and then we are using the Williams percent R on the hourly one. So fairly simple um i'm sure that most of you will be able to guess what is going to come next with the strategy but um it's a very very simple thing we are waiting for it to turn to a different trend in this case bearish um pretty much since january 1st we've been in a bearish market for the s p and then we are waiting for things like this things like this to basically turn into another bearish trend on the four hour and then we are using the Williams percent R to find trades, um, correlating with both of these um, directions on the one hour. So, for example, as you can see, when it's red here, red here, we are looking for bearish trades on the S and P. When it's bullish and it's bullish, we are looking for bullish trades on the S and P. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a few trade setups. I don't want to be showing you all of them. Um, again, you can go and back test this for yourself. Um, I'm just going to be showing you some of the most recent ones. So what we have is this one. Actually, I'll show you the settings for the um, Williams percent R first. The settings are uh, one minute, although you can change that to whatever you want in, in theory. Um, but Mine's on one minute, 10, and then style is white, upper band is at minus 15, middle's minus 50, lower's minus 85. I don't know whether this will change, I think it will. Yes, it will. Um, you can keep this on one minute if you want to. Um, I've basically just been using it on one minute because it gets like super, super, you get a lot of trades. Now that's obviously a good thing for some people, not a good thing for others. For me, I kind of like it because it enables me to get into trades that I might not be in otherwise. You can obviously test which one fits with your trading the best. Um, this is not a kind of an exact strategy. You know, you can test and see which one fits best with you. But for this one, I'm, I'm going to be showing you the one minute. Um, yeah, super trend, basic kind of default stuff. Um, so there's not really much change with that. But yeah, let's have a look at some of the trades. So obviously we're going to have some winners in here, we're going to have some losers in here, but essentially you're waiting until it comes up above that minus 15 level, entering a trade. And for me, I like to have like set pip stop losses. Um, so for me, uh, 100 has been working well for me, but obviously this is on the hourly scene. I want to be going for a little bit more. So you could go for 100 pips and then you could go for whatever take profit you would need but um again this is dependent on your on your kind of style of trading right some of you might not want to stop loss this close you might want to go up to the high of the previous candle you might want to go for double the entry candle on top i've used that in some of my previous strategy videos and it's worked quite well um, you might want to be going for the high of the last swing it's up to you really on how you put your stop loss here but you know you can you can decide on whatever you want and then you'll take profit i would say minimum 
two to one. Don't go any less than that. You could go 1.5 if you really wanted to. But I think with this kind of style of trading, you want to be grabbing those moves when they come. So don't kind of limit the, the upside whenever you are in that trending market. So for me, I would prefer to go for a three to one. Uh, where is the three to one? Three to one's like here. Obviously, if that's a random stop loss, you could go for the high of the last candle. Uh, but you'll see why the the high of the last candle can be a little bit strange. Um, it's not going to work for some of these entries. So I don't recommend going for the high of the last candle. Um, I recommend just going for like a fixed stop. You could use an ATR if you want to be using an ATR. But yeah, that's one trade example um, or another entry example, I should say. We've got another one here. Um, so if we just go on that, you can see that's the high right there coming up to this entry right there. Again, you could go for the high of that if you wanted to do whatever you want. Um, that's not a trade entry right there. That is a trade entry right there. So I'm just going to be going through and showing you these so that you can see some of the entries that you could take and some of the ones that, um, you can back test in the future. So, you know, it's not um, going to be giving you 100% accuracy. Um, no strategy will, but, you know, if you do want to be trading something where you can grab those nice reversals like this one up here, then there's going to be plenty of trading opportunities for you. Um, what's that one? But yeah, as you can see, sometimes you'll get, a, you'll get something like this where the market will continue to push higher when it's giving you these signals that is when you can have some serious losses um but you know you are going to have these kind of wins to go along with that so as long as you're keeping your risk reward in a good area and you're not taking every single trade again it's going to keep you out of some of these bad areas where you're not going to be seeing those profitable entries but again you are going to have some of the entries where um you'll be getting these trades so you know, have a little think whether this is a strategy that you would want to be trading or not. Uh, for some people, it's not going to work. For some people, it is. Um, take this strategy, run with it, change it, do whatever you want, change it around. Maybe go for like a five minute on the uh, Williams percent R. Maybe go for like a 15 minute even. Um, 15 minute has been quite good for me uh, with some certain strategies. You could be using that. But essentially, what we're doing is finding the trend on the daily and the four hour and then taking the pullbacks on the um, one hour. Now, you can use a different tool to get those pullbacks than the Williams percent R. Um, where's the delete button? There it is. You could be using a moving average. Something like a 20 maybe could work well. Um, yeah, um, not really. Maybe like a... 40, go for a 40, let's see what that does. Um, so yeah, 40 could work, and then you're taking the trades where it comes back into that area for the shorter way. Um, and obviously you, you won't be trading any of this, you'll take a loss here, but whenever it's above, you're not going to be taking any trades because you've got the direction here. So you could be doing something like that, um, it's up to you. Now whenever the daily and the four hour are not in sync, Whenever you've got, so whenever you've got like a bearish thing here, but it's bullish here, you're not going to be taking any trades at all. So you can just sit out of the market and go and do whatever you want. Um, but then when it is going to be bearish, like in, hold on, um, like in these scenarios here, you can then be taking those trades like this one. You'll be taking trades in here. Um, you'll be taking a few trades in here as well. So, you know, you can do that and see how that works. But essentially, the main core of it is you're taking those pullbacks in the direction of the daily and the four hour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to be part of the private community, make sure to hit the join button below. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.